All right, with this demo, we're going to uh, show you how to check and fix leaks on your map. So let's go to an example from a map. I'm going to bring up uh, just a really quick room built in Half-Life 2. All right, so now we're in the room. If you look at the far end, you'll notice that there's something funky going on with the map. There's a big old leak in it. Now, with the room this small, it doesn't make that big of a deal, but your light is going to start bouncing all around. And what it really slows down is your ability to compile things. So let's go ahead and exit this map. And I'll go back to the hammer view. And what you have here is your compiler window. And uh, normally when it compiles, it goes through your whole series of uh, elements that you've compiled. And you don't pay a whole lot of attention to it. And it talks about building the phase light and all that kind of stuff. But one of the reasons why you want to look at the results of your compiles, it tells you where there's some problems. And so if you notice here at the top, it leaked. And so there'll be four asterisks that will go ahead and point this out. Now, this doesn't do you a whole lot of good. In something this small, you can figure out where your leak is. But in a really big map with multiple rooms, you won't know where your leaks are. And so the way to do that is to use your point file. So go to map and pull, pull down load point file. Click yes. And what you're going to see now is you're going to see uh, a map that shows you exactly where you can see the red line going from your light that's up in your room bouncing down to your wall, down to your floor, and out the leak in your room. And so you can actually pull this anywhere on the map. So let's go ahead and go to a 2D, a 2D view and pull it out and see that the leak is occurring right at that wall. And so it's really simple to fix a leak. Click the wall get in nice and tight, pull that wall down, and now you have no more leak.